What's up everybody, Zach here with Extreme Outfitters, your go-to channel for all things hunting, outdoor, and archery related. Today we are gonna continue on our series that we just started about you know, your buyer's guide. We talked about the things to consider when buying a compound bow. Now we're gonna talk about the things that you really need to consider when buying a new site or upgrading from your current site. So whether you're new to archery or you're looking to upgrade the gear, we've got you covered. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we dive into the details, let's quickly address why a good bow sight is essential for any archer. So a reliable bow sight improves your accuracy and consistency, which ultimately help you hit the mark, right? Hit what you're aiming at. That's critical when it comes to shooting a target, but not only a target, but an animal. So for beginners, it's a must have to develop your skills effectively, which ultimately leads to those higher competition scores and a successful hunt. So there are quite a few different options out there when it comes to choosing a bow sight, but we're gonna, think, we're gonna focus on the most common things that you need to look at and consider. We're gonna look at our different mounting options, our dovetail versus direct, single pin versus multi-pin, and then your dial sights versus your fixed sights. So let's start with the different mounting options. So we have our dovetail versus direct mounting options, right? So dovetails give you the ability to easily remove your sight from the bow, as well as adjust the sight in or out for perfect peep alignment. Your direct mount or your fixed mount is exactly what you expect, right? It is a mount that has no moving parts. You're gonna mount it directly to the riser. Once it's mounted, that's it. There's no removing it. There's nothing that needs to be adjusted on it. You mount it and it stays as is. So from there, let's talk about our pin options. So we've got our single pin versus multi-pin. This is a really hot topic. We have single pins, which is just like it sounds. It's one pin, so you have a nice, clear sight picture. Single pin sights are typically used for or by your target archers, but there are some hunters who still use them and really prefer them. The downside for hunting is with the single pin sight, you have to dial for exact yardage. When you're at full draw, holding on an animal, and that animal moves, you don't have any other indicators to base your hold off of. So they are excellent for precision shooting, but require more skill to estimate distance accurately. Your multi-pin sights, right? More than one pin. This could be two to seven pins in your sight housing. So these are typically used by your hunters um, and you have multiple pins at different yardages that are fixed and require no adjusting or dialing. They are available in both vertical or horizontal options which is all going to come down to your personal preference, which works best for you, which can your eyes see better. So now let's look at the key factors to consider when choosing the right sight pins. A lot of sites have different sight pin options. So one of the things you need to consider is the fiber optic that's in that actual site itself. Look for sites with the bright fiber optics that you can see. If you can't see them when you're in the store, you're definitely not gonna be able to see them when you're in the woods. So these are easier to see in low light conditions. So consider the color of the pins too. So if you can't see orange well, it's probably not a good option for you. Like I was saying, we've also got our different pin sizes. Your smaller pins provide more precise aiming, but the larger pins are easier to see in your low light conditions. So depending whether you're a target archer or you're hunting could really depend on if you go with a bigger or smaller pin. So choose what suits your needs best. Typically most sites come with a 19,000th pin, um, especially your entry level sites, but you do have a lot of the sites here you have the that we carry, you have the option to either choose a 10,000th, a 15,000th, or a 19,000th option, really depending on the manufacturer that you go with. And then your number of pins in your housing. So if you're just starting, a three pin to a five pin site is usually a great choice. You typically set your pins in 10 yard increments. So for your three pin site, you'll have a 20, 30, and 40 yard pins. While with a five pin site, you'll have all the way out to 60 yards. For some, a five pin site may be a little too cluttered and really hard for them to see. It's really something you should try out and experiment with if you have the ability to. One of the other things that we are big on here is making sure, sure that you choose a site that has the ability to adjust the accesses. So we encourage you to go with a site that has both a second and third access adjustment, especially if you're a hunter. So this is essential for ensuring that your bow site remains accurate in various shooting conditions, 
especially when you're dealing with steep angles, canting, or uneven terrain. These adjustments really help you as an archer maintain a consistent and precise shot, which ultimately improve your overall performance in different hunting and target shooting scenarios. And then finally, we have our sights that have the ability to dial or your fixed sights. So dial sights come in single and multi-pin options. They allow you to dial the exact yardage you're shooting. So I personally use a two or three pin dial sight for the most part. I do spend more time hunting than I do target archery, but it does both great for me. I really like the idea of having my three fixed pins, whether they're horizontal or vertical. Um, I've messed with both. I honestly, for me personally, I prefer horizontal a little bit better, um, but it gives me my fixed 20 and 30 and 40 yard pins. And then I have the ability to dial the sight further if needed. Your fixed pin sights or your fixed sights are the most straightforward and user-friendly sights, especially for your beginners. There's not a lot of moving parts with them. They come with a set number of pins that you set for your specific yardages, and then you leave them be. So it's not an overwhelming sight that you have to deal with, make adjustments, make, you re make sure you reset to zero. It's fixed, it is what it is, you sight it in and you're ready to go. So your choice of both sights should really align with your skill level as well as the type of shooting that you plan to do. For beginners, fixed pin sights are, like I said, a fantastic starting point. As you gain experience, you spend more time behind the bow, you can really transition to a more advanced option later on. As you can imagine, like everything else in the archery world, there's a wide price range. You have your entry level stuff all the way to your really high end stuff that you can really sink some serious money into when it comes to custom building your own site with housings, pins, and different mounting bars. So invest according to your budget, but remember quality is incredibly important, not only with your sites, but really all things archery. You get what you pay for. A good site can make a significant difference in your accuracy and ultimately a successful hunt. So whenever possible, we really encourage you to try out different bow sites before making a purchase. This really gives you a feel for how the site works and whether it's comfortable for you or not. Uh, this is one of the things that we do here at Extreme Outfitters. Pretty much anything in our shop, we encourage you to try it before you buy it. Really to put hands on it, to understand how it works, and get a feel for it and make sure it's the right option for you. After you finally make that leap, you decide what site you want to go with, you need to make sure that that site gets installed correctly. If you're unsure, we highly suggest you seek help from either your local shop or an, expe an, an experienced archer to ensure the setup is done correctly. We always make sure to level the second and third axis to make sure you get the most out of your site. And remember, a quick tip for you when sighting your bow in, always chase the arrow. So if that arrow is shooting high, that means you need to move your sight up. If that arrow is shooting left, you need to move that sight to the left. And that's a wrap for today on choosing the right bow sight for you. So remember, selecting the right sight can really impact your accuracy and your overall enjoyment of the archery world. If you can't hit what you're aiming at, it ain't no fun. So take your time and find what suits you best. And don't hesitate to seek advice from experienced archers, other professionals, or give us a holler at the shop. We're open seven days a week. We're always here to answer any of the questions you might have. And as always, thanks for joining me today here at Extreme Outfitters. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, drop them in the comments box below. We'll do the best we can to help you out and answer any other questions. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video.